Hello everybody and welcome to our Alt Tag Wizard tutorial. Today we're going to cover the procedure of either fixing or adjusting the alt attribute in uh, IMG block of an existing HTML code. Before we continue, I would like to take a moment and talk about file preparation. For reasons that will become clear a little later, I renamed our files so they can actually reflect the content of the picture and I did uh, the same in a picture description that is part of the image exif record. To edit the exif record I used photo manager and as you can see our test images have a uh, name that shows the description of the image content and if we look at the title it's pretty much the same except in here you can use special characters and I also use spaces. So now we can go back to our demo. For our tutorial I created a relatively simple page with a couple of pictures and some text. This is the source code for the page and this is what the page looks like. It's a couple of pictures with missing old attributes. Now if we go to the source, all I have to do is select all and copy. Now in our wizard, I want to make sure that autofill for title and the alt tag are deselected so I can show some of the functionality. We'll turn them on later as we work. And we can start. We're looking at fixing existing HTML tags. So we're going to paste the text. And as we can see, we have four files, four images that have missing old status. And if you look at the content, this is the content after it's been processed. You're already going to see the alt attribute. However, there is no text in it just yet. So let's click on the first picture. We're going to see the picture and now we have those fields that we can populate. The, because I named the files in a very descriptive way, I can use that description and the way I can use it, I can right click on the field and I'm going to see the title as it exists in the exif file and also I'm going to see the file name. The only difference is that the underscores are being cleared out. For this particular purpose I'm going to use the title from the metadata and at this point I can also populate the title attribute. That is the text that is being displayed in the tooltip when the user hovers over the image. And in this particular case I might want to have that tooltip so I'm going to also populate with the same text. And because this is where the information is. I'm going to select those two fields and you will see what's happening in the next picture. Now what I wanted to show you is right there our alt attribute is already populated. So now we're going to scroll through the rest of the images. I click on the next one and as you can see it automatically pulled the content of the EXIF title and populated it in the field. Click Next and this is the last picture. At this point, the only thing that is left is to grab the output content. I'm going to right button click on it and say copy. Now I'm going to go back to our original file and it's still selected. What I'll do, I say 
delete I put a little pen in it so it's gonna stay on top and I'm gonna say copy and paste it let's remove the pen and close it and if I say update this is it it's finished if we go to our original file I'm going to click inspect element so we can see the content of that IMG block and as you can see we have only IMG border source and a class and that's all there is to it so we're gonna leave this alone and now let's reload the page because we already updated the content and I'm gonna say inspect element again and now we're gonna see that the IMG is popular with the old attribute and it's the source and the title the title is right here and if we hover on it, over it, there is this tooltip that I don't know if it's visible, but it says Hydro Flask, Insulated Stainless Steel, and so forth and so forth, which is the title of the document. So within two minutes, we updated the whole document, checked it, updated the tags, and we are done.